Just going back to the Blues Brothers a little bit. Was <laughs> did you have as much fun as it during the film as it, as it, it seemed like? To be, well, anytime it appears to be fun, you're usually working your butt off. So, right. Uh, I think we had more fun doing the movie than we did doing the album, but it was a lot of fun because Duck and I were just playing the same stuff we played in high school. <clears throat> I mean, no why. We just played the same old stuff we'd always played. So it was easy for us. It sounds like we're really playing hard, but if we're not, I mean, it's an easy gig. And uh, Lou Marini tells a story about Jack Nicholson was sitting in the front row and he lowers his sunglasses and goes, <laughs> put them back up. <laughs> So Louie tells that story. That's what he remembers. I don't remember him doing that. I remember him being out there. I didn't see that particular moment. He was over by the horn side. So anyway. Now, what a lot of people don't know is, you know, like you were, like you were saying, that was a band bef way, well before the movie. And matter of fact, you even put out an album. Okay, so the blues, yeah. yeah. And it sold like 4 million copies. Yeah. Well, at the time it sold three and then, you know, to date it's over four, but uh, yeah. I think the sale of it, Atlantic was allowed, uh, that allowed Atlantic to put a little more pressure on Universal to do a movie. And so when Danny went in with the script and the whole thing, they'd already seen the script and turned it down. They said, we're not gonna make this movie. So they called him back and said, okay. So they said, well, we're gonna have to teach uh, actors how to play instruments. And Danny said, no, we're gonna use the whole band. They said, no, you can't do that in Hollywood. <laughs> Danny said, then you don't get a movie. And he told me later, Danny said, I fought for you guys so hard. He said, I bit my lip when they told me I couldn't do it. He said, blood came. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I'll take his word for that one. But he had already acted out the movie to me. And he, he called me. He was, he was renting a house down on Wrightwood, which was three, three minutes from my house. He said, how soon can you get down here? So as soon as I can get, get to the car and get down here, so come on down. I got something to show you. So... I get down there and I go in the living room and he grabs me and sits me in the couch and, and grabs a, a footstool, an ottoman, and stands in the middle of the room and read me and acted out that whole script. Wow. And I was belly aching, just going nuts. And uh, I knew it was funny. And that after that is when he got the idea to rip the yellow pages off of the, in the LA phone book. Oh yeah. He wrapped the yellow pages around the script and threw it over the back fence. <laughs> <laughs> I think of uh, I think he threw it over the fence to Bob Weiss. He wanted Bob to produce it. <laughs> he did. So that's that is all a true story. That actually happened that way. <laughs>